everything's wet, so this is my workbench. <laughs> just taking another look at the plans. I just feel like I can't look at them enough. This is scary stuff. Internal and external ones. Woo! On to the next step. down at the end of the lane where they delivered all of my stuff. So we've got some noise behind us. It's not too bad. Here's my stack of rebar. 368 pieces that I need to cut. I'm not quite sure what the best method is to cut these. Um, if the sawzall can do it quick and efficient, uh, I'm going to do that. And if not, I've got my little generator and my um, thin cut on my angle clip grinder, which I know will cut it efficiently. So uh, we'll try this first. It's all compact and ready to roll. And if not, we'll try it the other way. Ten pieces in, cut through my first 20 foot length of rebar. I'm not sure if this is the fastest process or not, so I'm actually going to whip out the angle grinder, compare the two, go from there. I've got this little Harbor Freight generator and this angle grinder. This isn't my uh, favorite setup, you can already tell. Let's give it a try. What I really need is a cutoff saw, but I don't have one, so I have what I have. They both have their lists of pros and cons, 
but I think I'm going to go with the angle grinder for now. Um, it is a little less fatiguing on my hands, back, so on. Just, I'll have to figure out a way to protect my legs so I don't burn a hole through it. 20 cuts down. Let's have at her. <laughs> You might think I'm silly for not thinking of it before, but I found one that works pretty good. Just put one of those thin cut blades in my circular saw. Yeah, I, I really feel silly that I didn't think of it before. It'll work until I wear it out so much that I can't cut with it anymore, but this is handy. It's not so noisy. It's a little easier on the wrist, more natural motion. I'll cut as many as I can like this. Hey guys, thanks for watching Building an Off-Grid Yurt Part 2. We are so excited about this project and we've been making progress, albeit slower than we expected. And you know, really it's been a blessing. Audrey and I have decided that even though it's taking longer than we thought it would, that we were going to make a concerted effort to just enjoy the ride, to enjoy the journey. And we have. We've really enjoyed taking one day at a time. Sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's sunshiny, and we've loved it. We've loved it. So, there are good things to come. 
lots of good things to come. I'm working on part three uh, as we speak. Once I have a little more footage, I can finalize it and give it out to you guys. There's a lot of fun things that have happened. Positive progress. Yes. Also, if you want to follow this journey, uh, make sure you've subscribed. You know, um, when you click subscribe, there's a little bell next to the subscribe. If you hit that, it'll give you a no notification every time I upload a video. It might be handy if that's something you're into. And another thing, Simple Ground is on Instagram now. And I have done a very good job of putting a new picture up almost every day. And so if you want to see a more real-time sketch of what's going on on our project, hop over to Instagram. The link is in the description below. And follow us there.